All right, welcome to the Drill Down Earnings. We've got the latest results from Intuit, the maker of TurboTax, maker of QuickBooks, and a few other things that are super important, Credit Karma. This is the business story behind one stock on the move. I'm Futurum Group's chief market strategist, Corey Johnson. Intuit, uh, is it a miss or a beat? That's all Wall Street cares about, I guess. And yeah, it was a beat. I mean, revenues are what they expected. Profits were a lot better than they expected. Wall Street, you know, who cares? Look, the, what's really important here is that business is growing 11% top line growth, profits growing at over 100% year over year. So really strong profit growth for, for this company. Um, and I think what's also really interesting here is that this company kept their guidance exactly the same as it had been going into this quarter. So Wall Street thought the guidance was a miss from what they expected, even though the company said, it's just what we told you it's gonna be. So, all right, so that's Wall Street missing the guidance estimates, but let's look deeper into the business beyond the business, the headline numbers, right? So increased uh, small business and self-employment group numbers up 18%. Their online ecosystem, $1.7 billion up 21%. Their credit karma business, not so great, flat year over year. We're gonna dig into that in just a minute. Their pro-tax group doing okay, it's small. Their uh, reported consumer group also kind of small for this business, although, you know, almost $500 million. Uh, interestingly, IRS uh, results, uh, st or, or the returns started processing a week later, and that meant a week less revenue, a week of less revenues for Intuit, and that hurt the quarter. But let's look at the chart. So the, st the number, the stock sold off quite a bit when the guidance numbers uh, were less than what Wall Street was saying, as I was saying. But it's just what the company said it was going to be all along. And the stock's up quite a bit in the last year. Now, uh, when we heard from uh, Sassine Gonzari, who's the CEO of Intuit, he talked about uh, the Credit Karma business, kind of defending it, saying that it gives them tremendous insight to the customer as they go forward and imagine what customers might want to do with the technology driven by, yeah, AI. They're using AI to understand who their customers are through their credit reports to offer them other products that are just right for them and communicate with the customers in a different way. Here's Sassim Ghazari. Uh, let me touch on Credit Karma. As you know, one of the, the powers of Credit Karma on behalf of our customers is we know everything about the customer. The, we know, uh, I'll have, I'll have all the data and leverage AI to deliver personalized credit cards that are right for them or personal loans, whatever it may be. One thing that's profound with Gen AI that we're learning and seeing in market today is now customers can interact with Credit Karma, whereas before they couldn't. You know, the from to is the from is I would show you the three credit cards that are right for you based on everything that I know about you. But now you can act, interact with Credit Karma and ask, hey, I, uh, well, I'm looking for travel rewards. Which of these three credit cards are the best for me? And then we interact with you and help you understand which one is the best for you based on an additional set of questions that you've asked. Uh, where we now know more about you. That's profound because that will over time drive higher engagement, uh, monetization, et cetera. And on the small business front, our entire focus is revenue and profitability increase. All right, so AI's here, Intuit's paying for it, but they're not monetizing it quite yet. And that might be hurting the credit karma results. All right, what does it all mean? The drill down earnings takeaway on Intuit. And one number that tells us a whole lot, that's an interesting one. So hang on for right after this. The Drill Down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data, thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. Here's your quick drill down earnings takeaway in the latest quarter from Intuit. Pretty good quarter from this company, up 11% in revenues, profits up over 100%. So very strong from Intuit, even if Wall Street didn't like the guidance. Although it was the same guidance the company said it was going to be last quarter. So I don't know what Wall Street's problem is, over expectations, I guess. But I promise you the bite, one number that tells us a whole lot. Here's your number, 42.8%. 42.8% 42 of revenues for this company last year were in the third quarter. That's the kind of tax season for this company, for all of us tax season. Now tax season isn't everything, but it's most everything for Intuit. So despite Credit Karma, MailChimp, QuickBooks, all the other businesses there, TurboTax and tax season are the story with Intuit. All right, thanks for listening to Drill Down Earnings. I'm Corey Johnson, Drill Down Earnings, part of the 6.5 Media Group.